leadership of the Labour Party in Nasara State is set to launch one million man march in the total declaration of optimal support for the for his 2023 presidential candidate Peter Obi. Vanga reports that the chairman of the party in the state, Alexander Emmanuel, on Thursday, July 28, confirmed that every plan to embark on the march for Peter Obi has been concluded. Speaking to journalists in Lafia, Emmanuel assured residents that all commercial activities will be suspended in the capital city and other towns in the state. According to him, this is aimed at ensuring that every resident of Nasara State is sensitized, educated, and enlightened about the candidacy of Obi and the party. He also noted that it is important for the people of the state, party supporters, and other citizens to understand the need for a change in the political narrative in Nasarawa and Nigeria as a whole. Continuing, Emmanuel urged Labour Party members and supporters and well-meaning Nigerians to come out in mass on Saturday, August 6th, for the planned one million march for Peter Obi. He also appealed to residents of the state who are yet to register for their permanent voters' card to do so before July 31st deadline. The Labour Party, Nazara State's party chairman, advised that having voters' card is the only way to vote out bad governance, end insecurity, reduce poverty, impunity, and hunger. Meanwhile, Labour Party presidential candidate opens up Nigerians had been assured that the popularity of the Labour Party's 2023 presidential candidate will fade away. The assurance was given to Nigerians by Anayo Arinze, the national coordinator of the African Democratic Congress. According to Arinze, the noise on social media over the candidacy of Peter Obi ahead of the 2023 polls will die down before February 23rd. Also, President Mohamed Buhari led government had been accused of failing to honor the federal government's agreement with the Academic Staff Union of Universities. Also, the allegation against the president and his cabinet members in the Education and Labor Forces Center was made by Peter Obi, the Labor Party's presidential candidate. According to Obi, improved education and lifting people out of poverty are key to addressing insecurity in the country. African Democratic Party, does it exist? Because I'm just hearing it for the first time. Who is his presidential candidate compared with Peter Obi? Nonsense talk from a political jobber. Awusa and Igbos are not related in anything. The best thing is to celebrate. If Namdekano is a pastor, even in my next generation, I will be given to his church. I'll be going to his church. Almost 100% of what he said is happening in Nigeria today. Now they cannot leak all their secrets. If not, we for don't use leg, enter another country. Now the cannot is not only a freedom fighter, but a prophet. Obey all the way, I beg. Yes, so Nasarawa state is obedient. Hmm. Social media president. This hala. Aliyu is a Boko Haram member. <laughs> Someone just uh, reacted to that comment saying social media president. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians and they keep on talking. The truth is that every single Nigeria understands what is going on right now. That the only thing that can save us from this situation now is to vote for the uh, vote rightly. That is it. Just vote rightly. Get your PVC and vote rightly. We're not going to continue like this now. For how long are we going to continue living in poverty and mourning our loved ones? We are not sure of our lives. We sleep with one eye closed. What is going on here? And the, the, the most painful thing about it is that so many Nigerians are still clapping hands for APC and PDP. 
This is the same party that brought us to this level. They are still clapping hands for them. This is caring. I'm scared. I always say this. I'm scared of what is about to befall Nigeria. The APC man picked a Muslim as his running mate. The PDP man is a, is a Fulani man. And uh, you understand what I mean. You understand? Even now, when we say the country, they fragile like this. Why? Why? Why should we be thinking about voting for somebody who do not even know what to do? These people, they are, sh they, in fact, they are short of ideas. If Bola Tinubu, the, if Bola, if Bola Tinubu, the, who is a leader in the APC, and the things are like this today in this country, and he cannot, not even one solution, given solution, then what is giving us, you know, that hope that tomorrow, when he becomes the president, he will do better. Not be, not be party done board, so. Eh? So does it mean that it's only when you get the seat, you will do the needful? Why I'm saying this? Hmm? Why I'm saying this? Because Fulani has men killing in the southwest. But Latinobu not talk anything about it. He doesn't see it as anything. He doesn't comment about it. Hmm? Now, Atiku Abubaka, the same. So, if among these two parties, one of them emerges, we are in problem. These two ruling, ruling parties have been the problem of Nigerians, even Nigeria herself. So, people telling us Peter Obi is only social, is only popular on social media. I don't know what they mean by that. Social, social media is the only means people communicate to a large people to to crowd because this is where everybody come you understand saying peter obi cannot win election because he does not have structure they should understand that nigerians are no longer voting for structure if nigerians if oshun the the, the people of oshun state can vote out their 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 incumbent governor so what are we talking about? Even the person they voted for, I believe they voted for him based on his personality, not even his party. We should try to understand what is going on. I don't like it when people say Peter Obi is just popular on social media and all that. Just look at all the candidates. Who do you think that is qualified? In Everything make we forget about corruption. If you say corruption now, Peter will be it's not there, he cannot be counted, he's not qualified. Then just check everything because there is nothing you will use to hold this man. This man is intelligent, this man is knowledgeable. You understand? He knows what to do, he's an economist. He has been telling Nigerians how they will tackle the, the, the situation of this country. You that is telling us that Peter Obi is, is popular on social media, tell us what you will do. PDP, ADC, whatever party, tell us why we should vote for you. That is what I'm talking about. Convince us why we should vote for you. Nigerians, be wise. I'm scared, honestly speaking. If we make mistake again